Hi, my name is Matt Crowley, Product Manager here at Atlas Copco. And in today's Product Essential video, we're going to look at adding an image and workpiece referencing in the ILS 2.0 software. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in. So step number one is on the left-hand side here, we want to go to the menu for images. So choose that menu, and then we're going to add an image. Step one is click the plus sign up here. We're going to hit choose file and we're gonna choose the image of the part we wanna upload. So I'll select that, and then I'll hit open, and then let's save it. So if I click this, you can now see on the right-hand side, it is the image of the part we're using, just to confirm. Next, we need to do the work piece referencing. So let's click work pieces. We can choose from the work pieces that we've created thus far, so we're gonna stick with dynamic. Then let's choose the image, and now we need to actually do the referencing. So to do that, we wanna click Start Referencing in the right-hand side, and you can see we have three different planes to choose from. So a good way to determine which plane to choose is actually we want to go back to our workpiece or our tightening position, and we just wanna look at the Z, the Y, and the X coordinates and whichever one has the most constant or the closest or least changing numbers is the plane that we would exclude from our workpiece referencing. So if I come back, let's choose the image. And if we reference back to the image, we saw that Z was the most constant, so we can choose X, Y, hit OK, and now we can begin the referencing. So to do the referencing, we need to put the tool in three different spots. So we'll put the tool in one position. And then on the screen, we need to click the position the tool is in. And then let's move, to, we would move to a second position. And we would click in the second position. And finally, we want to move to a third position and click on the third position. And we can see that all of the dots on our screen move into those positions, which means we have successfully finished the referencing. So we can now save this. That wraps up today's product essential video on adding an image and workpiece referencing for ILS 2.0. If you have any questions, contact your local Atlas Copco rep, and thank you for watching.